Hi. <laughs> How are you all doing? Um, we're back. And today I wanted to focus on organizing everything because the last stream we kind of rebuilt the whole room. <laughs> so now I can put all of my stuff back. And the first thing I want to go ahead and do is get all of my still life um, stuff away in a safe place <laughs> so I won't break it so I have things like this very delicate and I don't want to break them so we're gonna remove them first place them somewhere safe <laughs> so I won't be knocking them over I hope you all had a really nice weekend I sure did and yeah we're gonna get going I put some audio now on the um yeah, some music on the audio. I hope it's okay, so if, if something is wrong with it or, it or it's bothering you, please let me know. Because then I can change it up. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. show you guys something i'm really um yeah kind of proud of it so i won a prize and me and someone else of the academy went to norway and um the guy that led us around he brought us to a really fancy hotel and he got us a gift when we went away look how beautiful it is <laughs> It has real gold on it and it's also from porcelain so let's keep this safe <laughs> it's very uh, a nice memory for me yeah Alright, did that, done that. <laughs> now we are going to move on and I want to go ahead and remove some of the paper I have here in my room because I have a lot of paper trash and I just want to move it outside of my room because I might use it in um, still lives that I'm building <laughs> so I do want to keep it around but I yeah I need it out of the room right now. So I have a little bit more space. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, I got most of it removed, so now I want to go ahead and tackle my painting closet, because it's necessary. <laughs> I made a whole mess. Um, <clears throat> I have some more professional paints that I use, and they are mixed with the 
less professional paint so I need to reorganize it and yeah I'm gonna talk a little bit about the paint that I use and I hope you like it <laughs> let's um get the camera in the right angle <laughs> Hey, thanks for the follow! <laughs> so, um, you see the open space in the closet just a few seconds ago? <laughs> I have my acrylic paints in there and I really love acrylic... <clears throat> Jeez! <laughs> <clears throat> I really love acrylic paint because it's a fast drying medium and I can go over it how many times I want and it does not matter. And I really like to paint abstract paintings of landscapes and I used to love texture in that but if I would have to wait two whole days for a texture to dry it's not gonna work out so these are the paints that I use it's from Amsterdam and before I use these ones of Amsterdam these are the expert series I used to do work with the standard series um, um, they are good, but if you really want to make works and sell them to people and you want to last them for a long time, then these ones are better. The Expert series, they're, they have a lot more pigment and they go way longer than a bottle like this. Which is really nice, because <laughs> I can use less paint but achieve more paintings with it. And this one, actually all of them, I really like to check on the pigment. They have three pluses, so that means they are at least 100 year light resistant. So they won't change in, with UV light. And especially when I use a top coating on it, a varnish, a varnish <laughs> then the colors won't move at all. So, yeah, I chose these ones over the standard series because the pigment is a lot better. So when I'm mixing colors, I get the right color that I want to. And they are also a lot more vibrant. But right now in my closet, they are all mixed together, standing behind and in front of each other. And the colors are all messed up. So I want to go ahead and tackle that now. Because it's so much more handy. <laughs> when it's organized. Alright, I got that sorted out. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I have also been buying some even more expensive acrylics, which is golden. And the pigment is even more vibrant than the Amsterdam Expert series. So I'm very excited to try these out. I haven't tried them out yet, so... I'm a little bit scared to try them out because they are very expensive, but you can see like the color on there is really pretty. This is like a green color. And I got a magenta color as well. 
and well they look better in real life but <laughs> they are very very nice so next to acrylic paintings i also use aquarelle aquarelle watercolor paint So my whole bag is still stuffed when I from when I went to Norway. So there's still some more acrylic paint in my bag that I need to empty out. But for my uh, acrylic paintings, I use Winston and Newton. So the uh, watercolor paint. Sorry. So that are these ones. And they are very good in pigment, so I'm really happy with them. I got a course for free from my school, so I could go there and test some things out. And we got a whole package of paint from them that we could take with us. So, of course, I did. <laughs> and I got all kinds of different colors, blues and reds and purples. I even have a cadmium red, which is non-toxic. Which is very interesting to me. I don't know how they made that, but I'm really glad they did because these are the, like the normal ones. So these are toxic to use. Very poisonous. But the other one... I don't know where I have it right now. Mm, I think I see it. This one? It's not this one. But well, somewhere in here. Oh wait, I see it. I see it. We got it, guys. It's this one. Focus, please. Yeah. So it's non. It is non-toxic, so not poisonous, and that's nice. Because sometimes I sit with my hands in my paint and not on, like by accident, <laughs> not on purpose. So it's very nice that they have a color like that. And I also have some watercolors. I think they are from Van Gogh. Mm. But most of them are just Winsor and Newton. And just very standard colors. And I only paint with watercolors when I'm outside. So I really like to go outside and then paint the surrounding with watercolors. I can show you some that I got from Norway, or that I made in Norway, so let me get those. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Alright, so... Watercolor block, also from Winsor & Newton. Yeah, it's just, I'm not really paying attention to what kind of paper I'm using, as long as it works well, <laughs> I'm glad. And the reason that I do it, because um, the paintings that I make are more studies for me, so they're not things that I want to sell, per se. So there are like these kind of things. This is one I made in Norway. Telemark. <laughs> And watercolor is just really simple. It dries very quickly when you're outside, which is nice. And it makes me able to lay down the colors that I see. So they are like not very photorealistic, but they are more to get the overall vibe of what I'm seeing. <laughs> Mountains. Churches. <laughs> it was such an insane journey. I really liked it. This one as well. This is one of my favorites, I think. Very cozy. Alright, so I am 
going to get everything out of my bag and also into that closet so it's all cleaned up and I can see what kind of paint I still have to buy because I'm missing a few colors that I would like to have so we'll see how that works out All right, so that closet seems to be working out fine right now. Um, a few things I need to put up there because on top of the closet I have more of these blocks just in different sizes, <laughs> like really big ones as well. And up next, um, I think I have some stuff on the left side that I still need to go behind more like in my storage room. So we're gonna look at that. <laughs> there are also like really old things in there. So it might be fun to show you some of it as well. Older paintings and drawings. Yeah. All right. Let's go.
All right, those were golden. <laughs> so much fun. Some were even from 2014. Really cute. Um, all right. So it might be fun to go through those sometime later. But now I gotta find a nice spot to store all of these. Now I know <laughs> that I want to keep them. At least for a while, maybe I will, when we go through them, that I will sort some out that I think, like, are, eh, they can go away. <laughs> Alright, so... Gotta move them. Yeah. We're gonna reorganize this closet in hopes that I can fit everything from the top in there. Except for the pumpkins, they need to be...
there we go. <laughs> ah, there was a, a lot of dust. But we did it. Kinda. A few things that I need to go over, but that's something I will do another time. I now have a lot of bags with cloth that I need to put in some kind of cabinet and maybe store away. They are things that I will be using, but I don't want them in that closet right now. <laughs> so I need to find out where I'm going to store them. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied so far. We dug out two closets. And now they look a lot better and are more organized. So I think I'm gonna head off and maybe clean up a little bit, do some vacuuming. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching everyone. <laughs> and I hope I'll see you the next time. So have a nice day.